guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Really, also known as Really Tired, and today we're going to be playing a game called Ravenous Devils. Checked out this game on Steam, it gave me Sweeney Todd vibes, and that is all you need to do to get me to play the game. So, let's go. Huh? Well, I guess we're on. Sure, let's do Sorry Mode, let's see what's up. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hilda and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house oh. is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them this lovingly. Feels like the aftermath of Sweeney My Todd. husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We have decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right, and earn as much money as we can. I feel like that's a really bad idea. If someone goes missing, you're selling, like, their clothes. I thought they were gonna say that you would, like, alter the clothes and make different things out of them, not just patch them up. Alright, so we're the husband for now. So we... Grab this lady. Oh, oh, naked lady. Um, just toss her in there. Bye, bye, Bethany. I mean, I did want more after Sweeney Todd, so I guess this is what I get. We don't wash her first. What if she's nasty? Like, I don't- that sounds gross. I don't I know where she's been. This from time to time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's so gross. Let's bake some people pie. Delicious. I heard once that people taste like pork, and I've ran with it ever since. So this is gonna taste like a pork pie, I'm assuming. say it was allegedly based on science and based on what people are made of. I didn't go into studies of people eating people. Alright, so we took her clothes. That sounds like such a bad idea. If, so, if like a lady went missing and then you just see exactly what she was wearing on a mannequin. She's alone, so do I kill her? Oh, she has her little health bar. What is up, lady? So I don't get to pick who I kill? That's pretty lame. Is this the lady? You look like you got nice measurements, lady. Looking looking nice and plump. Okay, so it's the people for the measurements that we can cut up. Oh! Sufficient. Get you naked, take your clothes. I wonder if this could also be like we could grind their bones to make bread at some point. 
Like, do I have to hurry up in case someone shows up? Yeah, yeah, grab her and toss her. Toss her. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, I see someone. Oh no. Oh no, I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. Oh no. Please. Please stay there. Can I not lock the door? I think we're good. Alright, we're gonna put the clothes out there. It's really warm. Good and dandy. Sorry, sweetie, you came at the wrong time. Gonna need to make a bunch of pies. Gonna get you naked. Nice and naked. Mm. I really hope you don't have diseases. People are gonna get sick from my food because my wife doesn't wash people because it's nasty. Pay no attention to the fact that a woman y'all saw like 10 minutes ago was wearing that. Mm. Hope nobody loved you. That's a mean thing to hope. Well, I hope you were loved in your life. So that you can die. Or that you died kind of happy. I mean, a pretty handsome man killed you. That, that should be okay. We have a thing for murders nowadays, I think. Is this what I do? I'm sorry, no bikini here? What's up? Thank you for shopping at... Um, I don't know what this business is called. What's your name? Who are you? Uh, I didn't catch your name, so I'm calling you Henry. Welcome to Henry's shop. Thanks for shopping. Bye bye. Making pies, making pies. People are gonna eat Tiffany. I wonder if people would catch on more if I like named the pies people names. Like, okay, this is the Tiffany pie. A letter just arrived. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Who may have sent this? Did oh. you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. Hmm. Did I know what we did? We didn't do anything. God. Someone knows our secret. Ooh. Ooh. What does it say? Nothing good. Okay, but what does it say? Okay, okay, we do get the letter. We do get to see the letter. My esteemed Rhodes, I must admit that your arrival in the city has got me pretty excited. And please, I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat, but merely as a great opportunity. I know what is going on at your shop. I do often wonder how do you manage all of those corpses. In any case, I decided to contact you to ask for a favor. But before I do that, I would like to assure you, your secret is safe with me, if you do what I am about to request. I have been eating human flesh for a long time. I am sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might, though. You cannot even imagine how difficult it has been for me to get my fill. From now on, however, with you around, I trust things will be far easier for me. I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to savor. After all, I will not just settle for the average Londoner. Once the targets have been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. It will be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move, and will know where you are at all times. Where? Oh, that is. Moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the uh, unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you details of the first target soon. Kind regards. Your new friend, Jay. Where did you go? I feel like, like, I'm a dashing jet. I could, like, probably get her clothes off and steal them without having to murder her. But I guess I do have a wife and she probably wouldn't appreciate that. But you should make bikinis out of all this. Imagine that the sales you can make. All this fabric. Making bikinis. Moving there. Like, it's such little fabric. Opening a bikini store would be amazing, and it would be revolutionary in this time when you're like, underwear looks like pants. Okay, let's get another mannequin. And that leaves us with no money. Where's my other mannequin? Where's 
use my other mannequin. What? Do I have to wait for it to arrive in the mail or something? Sir, are you gonna buy my pants? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You enjoy those pies, hmm? Do we got more mail? More mail. Dear Rhodes, Elliot Carson is your first target. He is a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible not to be enthralled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time, talking to everyone, even those filthy covered country louts. He has no objection to frequenting even the most infamous establishments, as he believes there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway, all of this will work to our advantage. And in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovel. Sorry, no offense. I'm sure you would have plenty of time to spruce the place up. You know I murder people, and then you're gonna call my business a hovel. Mr. Carson is a very charismatic person and an eloquent speaker. I've had the pleasure of having him as my guest at some of my most famous parties. He is a good looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes like two blue magnetic spheres that simply drive me crazy. And just the right size to eat in one bite. That's gay for a whole second. <laughs> well, I guess. Is it gay to want to eat another man? If you're a man. I'm assuming the person's a man. The person sending me these letters. Hmm. Kill him and preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. Jay. You sound like you just need to ask him out. Not murder him and eat him. I like this color. I like this color too. Get yeeted, bitch. Are you the man with the beautiful blue eyes? I've heard of you. No, why you gotta bring a child into this? Good day, Mr. Percival. I am Elliot Carson. Your shop is making news in this city. People say that it's impossible to find such high quality clothes elsewhere. I patch up dead people's shit. Are you serious? Some acquaintances of mine came by recently. Did they leave? To tell me that I should pay you a visit. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes on display look exquisite. But I suggest you clean this place a little. By the way, you want to give me money to do that? How about that? I'm going to commission a suit before I depart for my next trip. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. It would be my pleasure to tailor something for you. <laughs> what kind of suit are you after? Is it for you or the boy? I will need to take measurements first. For me, of course. I need a very durable suit for hunting. He's just my assistant. You may pretend as if he's not here. And if he bothers you, I can kick him out. Am I right, boy? I am a brick wall, mister. I can't make my voice as raspy as him. Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. Much obliged. See you soon. Come on, loafer. We're leaving. Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. Goodbye. He is probably ready for you to drop that, sir. Oh, it's beautiful blue eyes. He must be our target. The senders of the, these letters isn't joking. Next time I will have some work to do. We are also uh, entranced by his eyes. You smell very nice today, Kevin. How are you doing, Kevin? Goodbye, Kevin. Ooh. Ooh, is he back? No, I got another lady. How can I help you, madame? Oh, sorry, it's this guy. How can I help you, madame? Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Good morning. Not at all, Lady Illiswin. Please do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. Please be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. 
Did I clean? Okay, I cleaned. There's no blood. I didn't know if, like, if I hadn't cleaned, I would be screwed. This must be the place. That trap door. Uh oh. Those clothes. Oh my god. Everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. So, so Jack. Jack's the dude. But she's gonna die. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Get to work. Um, I was thinking something delicate. Maybe a light blue tones. Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind my asking. Hey, funeral. You're gonna wear blue to a funeral. Well then, if I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. Yeah? It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. What do you mean? I'm dying. And there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. It's asking to die without suffering too much. But maybe... Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Hildred? Oh, right, his name is Percival. I can remember that. Please, Percival. Please. You need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. You were just starting anyway. I, I would probably think something was going on at this point. Maybe it was a mistake to come here. I'm so sorry. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. So... Do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new? Hmm. <laughs> no. Look up there. I put up some flaps. Oh, I see. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. Do you like it? It's a good start, but you definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important! We'll make customers happier! Yeah! Gonna get some flowers in their life! Hi. Oh, the killing. Okay, that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I mean, I shipped them. Very cute. So, there is clothing right there. It is right there. You see it? You see it? You can purchase it if you want. And you're leaving? Well, fuck you, too! Oh, there's my other mannequin. What's he doing? Help me, please! Have you seen my parents? Uh-oh. My mother! My mother! I can't find my mother! What's wrong, little one? He's telling you. Um, my mom left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat. But she never came back. Can I adopt him? Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. These are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now come on, get out of here. I need to open up shop soon. But madame, please! I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? 
You murdered his parents. Oh, no. 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 I don't want to feed him his mom. I don't want to feed him his mom. No. My feelings. No. I think I have some leftovers. No. No, please don't feed him his mom. Thank you so much, madame. You are an angel. Goodbye. I hope you feel disgusting. And even today, I am sure of a place in heaven. Are you kidding me? You're gonna feed a child his own fucking mom and then think you're going to heaven? Hello, I can make you sexy, come on. Look at this magnificent clothing. I mean, look at this magnificent clothing. Come here. Ooh, he's back. Old Blue Eyes is back. Oh, so it's Percival's Tailor Shop. Okay, and then Hildred's Tavern. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait for me here. The kid's gonna notice he doesn't come back out. Don't try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. Alright, Mr. Elliot. I'll wait right here for you. About to get freed of my child. Ha. Scissors, I see. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste my time. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Where's my wife when I need her? Or maybe I don't need her. Yeah. Brutal. He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. I mean, he just has to not out you now. Uh, okay. The flesh will be better preserved here. You gonna put him in the fucking window? <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside. Don't hurt him. But I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there, and I was rather hungry. Then, the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious, but I don't have any money on me. So, um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Uh, yes, yeah, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he'll come back to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say that's on the house this time. Well, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me and I can be replaced any time. Well, well then, find yourself another job. Can I work here? You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Hildred may need a little help in the pub. I want to adopt both children, though. We could make such a happy family. I am so happy you managed to kill him. I must confess that I was tempted to join you immediately to enjoy the dish. Then I held back, thinking the banquet would be just perfect with all the victims. I am sure that this waiting of mine will be rewarded. My father used to say that patience is a fundamental virtue. I never thought I would agree with him. That old bastard was never a good father to me. He used to leave me alone with our servants, only showering me with useless gifts. When all I really needed was him. When he died, I inherited his vast fortune, and I spent his money diligently. My dear friends, you would have been guests of honor at all of my parties. 
reveling with the richest people in town, delicious food, women, and music. Ah, the good old days. That was a long time ago, though. I was just a boy. Now my taste for celebration has quietened. It is a good thing to realize when it is time to calm down. Jay. P.S. How does it feel to take someone's life? It must be terrible. I would never be able to do such a thing. Hi, nice to meet you. Percival told me about you. Ah, yes, my name is jo Joshua. I was Elliot's assistant, but I don't work for him anymore. He disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. People come and go all the time. The kind Mr. Percival told me that I could have worked here last time. Yes, I need a helping hand here in the pub. You'll be paid really well if you follow my instructions carefully. I'll do anything you ask me, ma'am. Come with me. I'll explain everything to you. Okay, I can manage this. Do you need any help in the kitchen? I was forgetting the golden rule. I forbid you to come into the kitchen. 